Quantos is a blockchain fintech company. Quantos develops the technology for backend systems in tokenized uh, assets for third parties, but we also develop our own uh, tools. We decided to, uh, to create a digital euro because it was really missing. Our first experiments were together with, uh, with corporates, for example, companies like Bazef, uh, the chemical company, Boeing, Porsche. Our customers needed digital euros, for example, for transactions with uh, digitized, tokenized assets. We decided, let's make our own digital euro and do it the right way. In the end, you need to have a real money. Especially at that time, uh, we're talking about uh, six, seven years ago, there was no regulated euros available on blockchain. Without regulated euros, these companies cannot continue. Based on these experiences, we teamed up with a bank to try to build this first digital stablecoin, stable euro. So about three and a half years ago, we decided if it doesn't come, we lose our customers with our technology because there is no, no model to, to be created. Maybe we have to do it ourselves. Fully regulated, with the right technology, with the right vision, and with a set of uh, requirements that, uh, that, that will enable all these this new payment uh, options. I said, well, if we are going to make such a currency, it has to be on a blockchain, but what requirements would we set for the technology, the blockchain as the infrastructure, to be perfect for such application? There need to be a short settlement times. The fees need to be very, very low uh, to allow micropayments. It needs to be firm. There should be no possibility that transactions are rolled back. We also noticed uh, in our application with the central bank, this has become a very important uh, factor. It's the environmental impact of, uh, of blockchains. There was additional requirements, uh, like we want to have uh, good governance on, uh, on such a blockchain. Well, all these factors together leaves only very few candidates. <laughs> for us, the choice for Algorand was a, was, a, was a logical one then. The whole base of Algorand uh, with the ASA, the Algorand standard assets built into the protocol, the extreme high throughput the Algorand blockchain can provide, which is really needed to have this large amount of transactions. Atomic transactions are transactions where both involved entities have to sign and the transaction will fail if one of them fails. So you are sure when the transaction happens, both actions happen at the same time. We had to explain our regulator. They never heard about the Algorand before, <laughs> and they really liked it also. For example, one of the features of the protocol of Algorand that's built into the protocol is this freeze-unfreeze whitelisting, meaning you can create virtual private networks within a public blockchain. This is something regulators love. Looking from the viewpoint of Quantos payments, we see two main goals, main, main areas of, of use. The first one is in payments itself. There's no fees. People receiving, companies receiving, people paying, companies paying, there's no fees. That's very attractive because currently online payments, and payment service providers, they take their, their share. It also enables micro payments, very small payments. Uh, that are currently not possible because of the fees. They really take away all the possible benefits. There are several companies we, we talk with, also very, very large companies. For example, public transport. The typical problem they, they have that digital payments, for example, for a bus ticket, it's a small payment with a very low margin. So traditional payment methods really take away a lot of that margin or sometimes are even more expensive than the potential margin. So this, this could be really a new solution for them. And with the ROD, it's, uh, it's, it's a firm payment. It's like paying in cash. 